today we'll show you how to repair a portable uh, electric space heater this is a uh, 120 volts AC space heater when I turn it on it's got a power light and alert light so when I turn this on see if I can turn it on here see the alert light turns on but uh, the power light is not on and the, the heater is not running so basically what happens here is that it does have power but uh, for some reason it uh, it turns on the alert uh, LED light instead of uh, turn on the unit itself so there is probably something wrong with unit uh, maybe some safety issue with the unit by the way um, this here is missing the knob on the left here and uh, all I did was I cut a round piece put a nail through it and then uh, just push through the control center here and that's it I have a new knob for it anyway so what I found is that on the bottom of this heater there is a some sort of uh, security power button it's a switch security switch I would say which is right here and it's mounted on this plastic cover this plastic cover and it was mounted on there like so but it's broken this plastic is so thin you see there it's broken right here and right here so it's completely uh, broken off and this button goes through the bottom cover and um, this is the bottom cover and let me see if I can put it back together like so okay and this this button you push down on the switch right and it goes through the bottom cover and it sticks out like this so when the heater is standing upright right the weight of the heater you press down on the button press down on the button right on the bottom here and um, turn on that switch so we'll tell the heater that the um, the heater is standing upright but if, if it's tipped over like this right so there's no more pressure pressing on this uh, switch anymore so this switch here is now in an open position and uh, it will not allow the heater to turn on because when it's tipped over like this and the heater is running if you put it on a carpet or something uh, it might burn your carpet and then uh, you know, cause fire it can probably burn your house so that's a security feature so now I have to do is have to find a way to uh, put this back to, together um, maybe glue it back together I'm not sure if glue is gonna hold it um, I just have to find a way put this power button back together and sticks out of the hole so that when the heater is standing upright when the heater is standing upright it will push on this button and uh, complete the circuit turn on the switch so that I can turn on the heater um, I can also uh, solder a wire to complete the circuit for this switch so from here to here I just solder another wire but that would defeat the uh, purpose of safety and I don't want to compromise the safety of this heater uh, it might be dangerous so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a couple of zip tie and tie everything back together because I don't think glue it's going to be strong enough to hold this because the entire weight of the heater is pressing on this whole assembly 
So I might be able to glue it together, but uh, not going to last for too long. Now, this button going through this hole, it's going to be somehow has to be on here. So I can push on it like this. Uh, so let's see my zip tie get the job done. Three zip ties on it. Hopefully that would open. Just have to mount in a way that this goes through the hole on the bottom cover. Like so. And that should do. Doesn't have to be uh, very tight at all. And that's it. There we go. To stop the switch from moving around too much, because there's a bit of room in here, I cut a piece of foam and uh, put in the space, empty space here. So keep it tight, nice and tight. Now it doesn't move around anymore. Now I just have to put it back in place. Screw it back in, there are four screws on the bottom, and uh, that should do. Alright, so here we go. Just put everything back together. Nice and neat. The button on the bottom here, you see that? Working just fine. So if I put the heater upright, the weight of the heater will press on this button and uh, turn on that switch and that will allow the heater uh, to turn on otherwise if this switch is open the heater won't turn on and let's try to see if it works so now it's uh, the heater is on it's back here uh, the switch is open okay. now let's turn it on let's see if it works See there, the alert light is back on again. The heater is not running. I'll show you again. Turn this off. I'm holding it so that it won't touch the, uh, the, uh, the ground. So now let's turn it on. So this light is on, but the heater is not running. Now I press on this button, see if it works. There we go. We'll release it. We'll stop running. There we go. Here we go. So let's have it stand upright again. Here we go. Off. On. On. Here we go. On. And if I lift it up, it will turn off. And put it down, it will turn on. So it works just fine. And let's turn on the heat, see if it works. Nice and warm. See the temperature here. Already 50 degrees Celsius. Let me lift it up, it turns off. Put it down, it turns on. There we go. Nice and warm. Already 60 degrees Celsius. Turn on maximum. It's pretty warm right now. Oh, 
already 87 degrees Celsius. So it works just fine. This light is probably dead. The heater runs just fine. Let me turn on maximum. There we go. It's pretty hot now. 114 degrees Celsius. Right, so it works just fine. Let's turn it off. There you have it, how to fix a personal electric space heater. Very simple to fix. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.